Hi friends, my name's Sophie and welcome back to your practice. Or if this is your first time practicing with me, then I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna have a great time today. And we're moving through a 30 minute minimal cues advanced flow. Now don't be put off by the term advanced. It pretty much just means we're doing some higher level poses. And I'm not gonna be explaining in detail and cueing in detail um, for each pose so that you can really get into your breath and get into your body and if you're someone who has been practicing for a long time and You know how to move and you know how to place your body in alignment for certain poses Then this is a great practice for you if you want to um, Challenge yourself. So this is going to challenge your strength and your mobility. So without further ado Let's get started in tabletop and right into it. We'll move into cat cows to warm up the spine or any other movements that feel good for you. And try to connect the movement with breath, especially as we first start the practice, just to get into that rhythm. Take one more round of whatever you're doing. And we come back into neutral and take your right leg straight back behind you. Rise up onto your right fingertips and bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Try to touch it. Then take your leg straight back and then open it a little bit. So like back and behind you a bit to open up the right hip and bring your knee to your upper arm. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in as high as you can. Two more of those. Last one. Hold here with your knee to your upper arm and then step your right foot outside of your right hand for lizard and tuck your back toes, lift your back knee and find a little movement, maybe forwards and backwards, maybe some hip circles, but with the back knee lifted. Find stillness, plant down through your left hand, lift your right arm up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, weave your right arm through to the left, just kind of floating, like you're threading the needle. Inhale, lift the arm back up. Exhale, weave it through. Inhale, arm up. Just one more time. Exhale, weave. Inhale, reach the arm up. And put your back knee down onto the ground on your exhale and straighten your right leg into kind of a wide half splits. Just sit back, like shift back into your hips. Don't worry about sliding the right heel forward. You can come up onto your left fingertips or maybe you put your hand on a block if you happen to have one. then plant down through your left hand and tick your left foot out to the left like a kickstand. Lift your right heel and slowly bring your right leg back behind you into a modified half moon. Bring your right fingertips behind your head. Bring your right foot down to the ground and lift it back up. Two more like that. Really slow it down, you guys. Slowly bring it up. I know right away we're doing glute, a lot of glute work. <laughs> Lower. Lift it up and then lift your right arm up to the sky. And we'll take five seconds to bring your heel towards your butt. Five, four, engage your hamstrings. Three, two, one, pause here. Bring your knee a little further back to open the front body. And set your right toes behind you. This is like wild thing, but on your knees. So set your right toes down and your heel is lifted. And open your chest to the sky. Inhale. On exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Come into like a one-legged um, tabletop, so right leg straight back. And then bend your right knee out to the right. We'll call this fire hydrant. And then take three big circles with your hip in one direction, and then we'll do the other direction. Switch directions. Take your time though.
bring your knee back down to the ground. Take a moment to just kind of sit back on the hips and stretch it out. We'll come back into table. Take your left leg straight back behind you. Come up onto your left fingertips, plant down through your right hand and bring your left knee to your left upper arm. Extend it back, open through the left side body a little bit. Knee to upper arm. Re-extend. And bring it in. Two more. One last time, don't rush it. Now bring the knee all the way to the upper arm, pause, and step your foot outside of your left hand. Tuck your toes, lift your back knee, plant down through the hands, and move forwards and backwards, or circles, whatever floats your boat. Plant down through your right hand, lift your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, weave it to the right, underneath your right arm. Lift it back up. Weave it through. Once more. Lift. Weave. Lift it up. And put your lift, keep your arm lifted. Put your back knee down. Shift your hips back as you straighten your left leg and flex your foot. And I like to come onto the right fingertips for here, but you can do whatever you want with your hand. Now plant down through your right hand, lift your left heel, swing your leg back behind you as you move your right foot out to the right a little bit, like a kickstand. Left fingertips behind the head, just touch, and then lower the left leg down, lift it back up, lower it down, lift up a little higher, one more time. Now hold here, reach your left arm up to the sky. And we're gonna bring left heel to glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause there. Can you bring your leg a little further back? And set the toes behind you, heel lifted. Open your chest. Inhale, exhale, bring it around to one-legged table, we'll call it. Left leg straight back. And then bring your knee in towards your hip and then out to the left. And start to take circles, three in each direction. Switch directions if you haven't already. Bring your knee back down to the ground. Wiggle out those hips. Let's sit back on the heels now for toes pose. Reach your arms up to the sky to a V shape. Circle your wrists three times in each direction. Open your hands. Release your hands back down to table. Untuck your toes. And then re-tuck your toes, lift your hips for down dog. Three breaths. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Let's take a rag doll for just a couple breaths. Loosen up the spine. Release your hands down. Walk all the way out to plank. Bring your feet to hip distance. Good. Lower down for chaturanga and hold for five, four, engage your core, engage your glutes, two, one, release to the ground. Untuck your toes, bring your fingertips wide and lift up for a nice big cobra, pressing the tops of the feet down. And we'll lower back down to the ground. 
plant your hands under your elbows, tuck your toes, lift your um, thighs off the ground, and press all the way back up to plank, but really slow, with so much control. Downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Lift your right leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Come up onto your right fingertips. And then slowly, if you want, we'll flip the dog into a wild thing, right toes behind you. So before we did modified, now we're doing regular wild thing. Inhale. On exhale, bring it around, three-legged dog. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Hold. Touch. Lift it higher. Lift it higher. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Pause here. Good. Take your arms out in front of you. So you're in like a, almost like you're going to come into warrior three, but you're not. Firm your back thigh. Rise up to high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Spread your wings. Breathe. And straighten your right leg. We come into triangle, but it's kind of brief. There's a brief triangle feel into it. Look down at the ground. Come into half moon. From here, we'll rise up to a one-legged mountain. Now do that really slow by first lifting your right hand off the ground and then really slowly rising up, 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 and then turn to face the front of the mat as you lift your left leg up. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh for figure four, hands to your heart, sit low. Shoulders back. Rise back up to one-legged mountain. Put your right hand on your hip. Left piece fingers grab onto big toe and reach your leg straight out in front of you. Then take your leg out to the left and take your right arm out to the right. Stand tall. Now, um, let go of your foot, but keep your leg lifted. Three, two, take your leg out in front of you and on one, arms up to the sky, and then slowly transition to standing splits. Right hand, or both hands down, left leg up. As slow as you can, step back to low lunge. Left hand down, right arm reaches up. Right arm reaches over your ear. Right arm back up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Straighten your right leg. Lift and lengthen your spine, you're in a modified pyramid. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Bend your right knee back into low lunge. Slide your right foot over to the right. And then take your right shoulder underneath your right leg and your left arm, right hand to the right, left hand to the left from lizard. Option to float your arms. An option to clasp hands and lift your chest. Good, release your palms down. Grab onto your right big toe with your right piece fingers and come into um, a side plank variation with your right leg straight up, holding onto your foot. Now, if this isn't in your practice or not happening today, just step back to side plank. That's wonderful as well. Definitely an advanced pose. Ekapada Vashisthasana. Slowly release your foot as you come back, as you come into plank. We'll lower down for Chaturanga. Hold for five, four, Three, two, upward facing dog on one. Let's go to down dog. Hmm. Two breaths.
feet together, lift your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. You're more than welcome to stay here or you can come up onto your left fingertips and you can slowly flip your dog. When I say slow, I really want your left leg to be floating until it can't hold any longer and you reach the ground. Bring it back around, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your left upper arm. As high as you can, hold. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Come up onto your fingertips. Lift your chest and your spine and reach your arms forward. Slowly rise up to high lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, pause here. Straighten your left leg. Triangle, left hand down, right arm up. I just love this sequence, which is why I'm smiling. <laughs> okay, take another breath. Look down at the ground. Half moon, yogis, Ardha Chandrasana. From there, slowly rise up to one-legged mountain. Take your time. Left hand on left hip. Sorry, I skipped something. Hands to heart. Cross right ankle over right thigh. Sit low. We rise back up. Now left hand to left hip. Right fingertips, peace fingers to big toe. Extend your leg forward and out to the right. Left arm out as well. Release the foot, but keep the leg lifted. Arms are in a V-shape. Slowly bring the leg forward, arms up to the sky. Standing splits. One more breath. Slowly step back to low lunge. Plant your right hand, reach your left arm up. Then reach your left arm over your ear. Reach your left arm back up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, modified pyramid by just simply straightening the legs so you're not putting your back heel down unless you really want to. Lift and lengthen, and fold as you pin your left hip back. And then look up, bend your left knee, slide your left foot over to the left, lizard. Slide your left shoulder under your left leg, right arm over to the right. Maybe float your arms, maybe clasp hands. Release your hands down. Left piece fingers can grab onto left big toe. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot as you come into your side plank. Or you might just not grab onto the big toe. You might just do regular side plank with both feet together. That's fine. If you have the foot, slowly release. Come into plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Hold for five, four, three, Two, up dog, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Set your knees down, take a little break, child, or you can sit upright. Just a couple breaths. What we're going to next is we're going to um, our flying splits. So mentally prepare yourself. Ekapada Kundanyasana two. We're gonna start with the right leg, all right? so. Um, if you need a little demo, I'll just show you now. Keep relaxing while you watch me. 
down dog. Some of you might know this really well. That's okay. Use this as an opportunity to rest. You're going to reach your right leg up, bring your knee to your upper arm. You can stay here or bend your elbows and then maybe you lift your back leg and straighten your right leg and look forward. All right. Mm. Down dog. All right, let's do it for reals. Feet, I can't believe I just said for reals. Anyways, feet together. Lift your right leg up. Right knee, right upper arm. Get it up there as high as you can. Shift forward. Bend your elbows like chaturanga. And then lift your back leg. Lift your right leg. It's okay if you fall. Step back to chaturanga. Up dog. Or skip it. And down dog. Oh. If you do fall, it's okay. You're not that far away from the ground. My face was like basically touching the ground anyways. Ideally, it'd be a little higher. <laughs> Shake out your wrists if you need to. And then we'll move on to second side. And then we'll take it down from there. All right? Down dog. Feet together. Lift your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, knee to left upper arm. Put it on your upper arm. Bend your elbows, look forward, shift forward, and lift up, fly. Step back, and you can flow through your vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. And then set your knees down. And then sit on your heels, Virasana. We're going to come in two. Well, okay, first let's take a moment to breathe. Shake out those wrists. Feels good, doesn't it? Even if you didn't fly, even if you've plopped or looked silly, that's that's the fun in it, is allowing ourselves to look silly and be silly and look ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to take the legs wide, move the calf flesh out of the way, and sit between your thighs. Now, if it's, if this hurts your knees, please skip it. It's never worth it for the pose. It's not worth it to hurt yourself more. Um... If you have blocks, you can also sit on blocks. I like to massage out the feet here so you can palm your hands into your feet, bottoms of your feet. And then you can start to make your way down if you want onto your forearms. And then maybe come all the way down. If you don't want, if this doesn't feel good on your knees again, just do something else. Grab onto your elbows. Soften your face. One more breath. If you're all the way back, first come onto forearms, and then come up onto hands, and then shift into table. And you can kind of just extend your legs back, press through the heels, just stretch it out one at a time. And we'll come through into a seat. We'll bring the legs straight out in front of us and shake it out. And bend your right knee, cross it over to the left. Option to bend your left knee as well for full Ardha Matsyandrasana. Sit tall, bring your right fingertips behind you, hook your left elbow over the right thigh and enjoy your twist. One more breath. Come back to center. Unwind your legs. Bend your left knee. Cross it over to the right. Maybe bend your right knee as well. Plant down through the bottom of your left foot. Lengthen, twist to your left. Hook your elbow if you want. One more breath. Turn back to center. Take your legs out, shake them out. Double pigeon 
or you could just do a seated fold. So, um, well, we're all gonna fold, whether you're in double pigeon or you're just in a cross-legged position. So you pick one. For double pigeon, also called fire log, if that's what you like to, if that's how you know it. Flex your feet, sit tall, and then hinge forward. You can bring your forearms down. Just three more breaths. Rise back up. Switch legs. When you're ready, go down. Rise on up. Take your legs out in front of you and shake them out. We'll do a seated fold, so sit tall, slight bend of the knees as you go forward. Once you get there, then you can bend, you can straighten the legs if you want. Fold Paschimottanasana. Five breaths. And then rise up, lower onto your back. Bend your knees, feet flat. Do a couple pelvic tilts, press your low back into the ground and lift a couple times. And then we have time for one back bend. So you can do bridge or wheel. When you're ready, lift up, bridge or wheel. From wherever you are, start to lower. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Windshield wiper your legs with your arms overhead. Then bring your feet together, knees wide. You can keep your arms overhead if you like. We're going to be here for a minute, a minute of just being and breathing. So you might put your hands on your belly or one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Slowly bring your knees up. Or if you'd like to stay on the ground for Shavasana, please feel free. 
Otherwise, you can follow my lead and bring the knees into the chest and rock a little side to side. We'll make our way up to a seat. And if you're on your back, you can do this as well. We're going to breathe. Let's take a big breath in, fill up the belly, fill up the chest. Out of the mouth, let it go. Sit tall, breathe in, fill all the way up. Let it all out. One more time, fill. Exhale and let go as much of your breath as you can until you're empty. And then bring your palms together at your heart and we'll bow in gratitude for this practice. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you. You did great. That was a hard one. And that was super fun. If you had a good time, let me know in the comments. I'd love, I love hearing who's practicing with me. It really, really um, does make my day. So please let me know when you feel ready to. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then hit that subscribe button so we can keep practicing together. All right. I'll see you next time.